Hi, uh, welcome to episode 7 of Free Will Trading News Roundup. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week wherever you are tuning in. Um, so just to start with the first question, uh, there's been a change of personnel in the company, hasn't there? That's right. Uh, on Monday, Mike Hampshire, who works down from Tombridge Wells, uh, uh, handed his notice in. He's moving on to uh, Pastors New. Um, well, he's worked with us for 15 years and it's been a privilege to work with Mike, who's a very dependable uh, person and uh, uh, you could always rely on him. Uh, times change, people change and uh, move on. So it's best of luck. Uh, so Mike, if you're your watching this, thanks for your service and best of luck with everything you do in the future. Um, the second question I have for you today um, is uh, related to uh, what's happening with the currencies. So what's the, the latest in terms of fluctuations? Well, uh, when we spoke about a week ago, we were talking, we were focused on the, the Greek exit. Uh, <coughs> well, that's kind of slipped off field now because they've kicked the can down the road four months. Uh, but there's no doubt that the euro especially is extremely fragile. And uh, today we had uh, something called the non funds payroll, which is a measure of uh, employment prospects in the or the number of jobs in America yeah. and it was an extremely strong figure much figure much stronger than everybody uh, uh, expected uh, and we finished uh, at an really an astounding rate for the euro which is I think uh, something like a 15-year low yeah. which is uh, 1.0880 uh, so this figure uh, is now in the region where people are talking about it could go to parity right. and parity is looking more and more uh, uh, almost not a certainty but there doesn't seem to be any reason why it shouldn't go to uh, uh, one euro that's very good for uh, exports from Europe mm -hmm. particularly uh, German manufacturing yeah. but uh, pretty tough for us in the in the dried fruits and nuts world because uh, a lot of the products especially the nuts are all traded in dollars and so that really means between now and uh, let's say three months ago really in in real terms um, these dollar imports uh, have gone up about uh, uh, 15 to 20 percent without any benefit to the supplier so uh, let's let's see. This is going to hit uh, demand. Mm -hmm. And what's the changes? The latest changes in the market. What's happening in the market at the moment? Well, on uh, the f coming Tuesday, uh, we've got the latest almond position report. This uh, this will tell us uh, how shipments went in February. Uh, we've had problems in the docks, and those problems are going to uh, continue to distort these figures. Uh, but we think that these figures will be pretty low and uh, so there's now a build-up of uh, almonds in, uh, in America. Uh, plus uh, we're in the bloom period and judging by uh, how little we're hearing and on the basis that uh, no news is good news, uh, we figure that the bloom is probably going quite well. So let's have a look at the February figures. Uh, we'll be putting out analysis of those on Wednesday morning, the coming Wednesday morning. Uh, elsewhere, um, well, the road uh, from River Alta up to uh, La Paz is apparently now closed. That means um, that uh, material which has to go from River Alta up to uh, La Paz and then down to uh, Chile uh, well, that route is, is broken. Um, how long it remains broken, it's normal for it to break once a year in the rainy season. Uh, how long it, it, it remains a, uh, a problem is, is the number one question. Our information is that basically the rain has come early, but it hasn't come long. So hopefully this should clear out. But uh, in the meantime, the level of uncertainty, particularly over March and April shipments, has increased. So those are the two bits of news. Elsewhere, well, currents are now cheaper than Sultanas. That's uh, really a function of the cheap euro again. Um, 
and um, that's about that's it really about it. so uh, yeah. go to the website in the middle of next week so you can check out that element shipment report uh, so thank you very much for the interview okay, thank and you. Uh, we'll see you next week